what is going on guys it is mystic spade and as you can see i'm going to do another tutorial video here and this is regarding my xsplit settings i do get asked this a lot i did put up a video of how to live stream with flash media encoder 2.5 and uh virtual audio cables and screen capture and va screen capture uh, but anyways this is i've been getting a lot of people asking how come my stream looks as good as it does whenever I, it's not even technically in hd so I decided I'm going to show you guys this. So what we're going to do when you open your XSplit settings and first off, my preview window that you see is actually a live feed from my capture card. I don't run a screen capture program because I am using the Avermedia Game Broadcaster HD which enables uh the the capture card is able to be read directly. Not having to do a screen capture or anything like that and it does bypass the PS3's HDCP so you can actually live stream and record through HDMI so that's a huge deal uh, but anyways we're gonna go up here to click broadcasts right and then we're gonna hit edit channels and these are all the channels I have my Ustream my YouTube and then local but anyways we're just gonna go to the JustinTV.Twitch one and these are my settings this is what I have I have the server closest to me and it's actually believe it or not this I get a better connection on a server that's probably about eight hours away from me than I do actually closer to me but I have it on very fast and if you have a higher end CPU a lot of people don't understand this like if you have an i7 like a 3600 or 3700 you can actually slow it down the slower the speed on your preset it's actually going to clear the picture up even more I have mine on very fast that way it uses very minimal of my CPU and it's still very watchable and I have it at quality 10 and right now I have my bitrate at 1200 but if I fluctuate it from anywhere from 1200 to 2000 I have a 5 meg upload phone I have a 5 meg upload and pretty much what that is is 5000 kilobits per second that's what I can do so I can actually you want to leave about half of that you for your gaming if you're playing online and trying to live stream, you can go higher if you want uh, for single player games, but you don't want to take it too high to where people can't actually watch your stream. That's that's where the the, the key aspect is. You want to keep it where it's watchable for everyone else. You know, so you want to keep it anywhere up to the 2,000 range. You don't want to go any higher than 2,000 really. Uh, default stage res resolution. I don't change this at all. Uh, and this actually changes from time to time like right now mine actually just ran out so normally this is the default AAC AAC LC audio codec that's normally what it's at for me but my X split just ran out and I just really don't feel like renewing it right now but anyways this is exactly what I use on these settings and I'll show you my resolutions so hang on a second let me get in here oh, I don't want to close I remember, I remember. Yes. Close box. And my resolution is at 854 by 480. So technically I'm streaming in 480p. So that's definitely not 720p, but I'll put one of my live stream highlights. And for those of you that actually watch my channel, you actually see a lot of my live stream highlights, and they're still very good quality in terms for not being in HD. And then my frame rate is still at 25. So the default 25. Uh, if and again if you have the a higher end PC custom built ones you can take that higher but mine's not exactly badass you know it, it's good it gets the job done for what I want it to do uh, but I've given many other people these settings and it has pretty much helped them out greatly this would even help if you're running you know a screen capture software and such but there's always gonna when it comes to running screen capture software you're relying on the, the refresh rate of your monitor so you would have some screen tearing and such and stuff like that anyways this is exactly what I use it's to the T you're, you see exactly what I use now so if you have any more questions definitely leave them in the comment section below and I will try to get them answered for you as quick as possible uh, there's nothing really you know super awesome about what I used to stream with or anything like that I mean my stream setup if you go to my my uh, YouTube channel and look on the right hand side and hit more it has everything that I use it's listed on the right hand side if you hit more you can see it uh, all my equipment listed by name and manufacturer but anyways guys this was Mystic Spade I'm out and hopefully you found this video useful if you did please leave a like on it bye